Good morning, welcome to your cranial nerve exam. Today I'm going to be just taking a look at some of your functionality to make sure that the nerves within your brain are functioning properly. I also have this nifty little tool here that I can actually use to take little pictures of the nerves inside your brain, and it will give me little readings to see how well each of those nerves are functioning. And that way I can take the results back to my lab and I can learn a little bit about them there and study them there. So we'll start by just doing those readings and then we will go ahead and move on to just doing those functionality tests so we can see right now how those nerves are functioning. Does that sound okay? Okay, great. Alright, so all I need you to do is just stay very still. We'll first do it on your forehead. Very good. Now on the side. Very good. Now back. behind. Very good. On this side again. Very good. And we'll do your cheeks. Very good. Very good. Now on the back again. Very good. Okay. Let's do two more readings here. One more here. Very good. On your forehead, here and here. Very good. Okay. Now I will take those readings back to my lab and I can send you a report later on to see how everything is functioning. So let's go ahead and jump into our analysis, okay? So let's just start with taste. I'm going to give you a series of pills. And they are all going to have different flavors. So I will put it in your mouth and it will okay, it'll pop on your tongue and I want you to just tell me what flavor you taste, okay? So here's the first one here. What flavor is that? Chocolate, very good. What flavor is that? Mint, very good. Okay, here's the next one. What flavor is that? Lavender, it's a hard one, it's not normally one that we eat. What flavor is this? Not sure. Think about it just a little bit longer. Buttered popcorn, very good. Okay, here's another one. What flavor is that? Celery, very good. Alright, now this one's just a little surprise one. Okay, ready? What flavor is that? Also not a flavor that you normally eat, but I am curious to see if you can taste it. What do you think it is? Dirt? Yes, this is actually just the flavor iron. So if you ever get like a little bit of blood in your mouth, then you can taste that iron. Or if you take an iron pill, you can taste that. So it is a flavor that is tasteable. So it's okay that you didn't get that one. Just kind of a fun little check to see if you know that. So you did get most of those flavors, right? Do you ever have any sort of issues with your tongue? Do you ever feel like you can't taste things normally? Okay, yes, I, I hear that you got COVID once and you lost your sense of taste. That's unfortunately been happening to a lot of people. Yes, but that sense of taste is back now. Okay, that's good. Do you ever have any aversions to any sort of foods? Anything abnormal? How about when you get sick? No? Okay, that's good. We are now going to check your sense of smell. Okay. I'm just going to drop these small drops, or rather I'm going to blow the scents into the air right underneath your nose, and I want you to tell me what scent you hear, okay? Ready? What scent is that? Rose, very good. What scent is that? Peppermint, very good. What scent is that? 
Rain, very good, that's a harder one. It's another kind of tricky one. What scent is this? Grass, very good. You got it. I'm impressed. Some of these are a little bit harder to pick out. And just this shampoo. You must have shampoo that's scented like this. It's actually tea tree oil. That's kind of a harder one as well. But some shampoos do have tea tree oil in them. You want to do one more? Okay. Let's see if we can get this one. Ready? Do you know what that one is? One is sage. Yeah, that was a tricky one. That one is actually very difficult. I can't even get that one myself. But I like to throw in those fun ones at the end just to see how good you are. But it does seem like everything is working just fine. Do you ever have any issues with your nose? Oh, based on congestion, yeah, that's normal. Do you ever have any issues with smelling? Anything that you can't smell? Okay. It's good to hear. It seems like everything is good with that then. Okay. Do you ever have any trouble breathing? Very good to hear. Perfect. Now let's just do your sense of taste. Okay. Or your sense of touch. Excuse me. We're going to do touch now. So I have these two pinpoint needles. Okay. Can you see? Really, really teeny tiny. I'm not going to poke you hard. It'll be very, very gentle. But we're going to do a little test. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them closer together or farther apart. And I will touch you with either one of them or with both of the points. And I just want you to tell me how many points are touching your skin. Okay. What this does, it just checks if you are adequately able to feel without looking how many of these points are touching your skin. You have nerve endings that are closer together in parts of your body, like your fingers. So you should be able to feel points that are really close together on your fingers and points that are far apart on your fingers, but in parts of your body, like your arm for example, you should not be able to feel them as close together if I'm touching you with two points. So I might be touching you with two, but if they're really close together on your arm, it may feel like you're only being touched by one. So that's okay if you guess wrong, you're not failing. I just want to make sure that your nerves are functioning properly. Start right here. Close your eyes. Start with your hand, okay? Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Very good. Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. A little bit farther apart. Very good. Now, am I touching you with two or with one? One. Very good. Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Very good. Let's do your other hand, okay? Am I touching you with two or with one? One. Very good. No. Am I touching you with two or with one? Just one. Very good. No. Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Very good. Alright. Now we're going to test on your cheeks. I will be very, very gentle. Now just close your eyes and just let me know how many you feel, okay? Ready? And am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Very good. Am I touching you with two? One. Very good. Am I touching you with two or with one? One. Very good. Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Very good. Okay. And now we will just do your forearms like this. Okay. You ready? Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Am I touching you with two or with one? One. Am I touching you with two? Do this on here. Am I touching you with two or with one? Two. Very good. Am I touching you with two or with one? If that one felt like one, then but that was actually two. Am I touching you with two or with one? One. Very good. Okay. There were a couple that you got wrong, but that is completely normal. So all of those 
so your nerves are functioning properly with your sense of touch. Okay. So now I'm going to check your ears, your sense of hearing. Okay. Now we're going to do a couple things here. I'm going to make a little noise with my fingers, and I want you to tell me how far away you think this noise is from me. Okay. So just go ahead and close your eyes. Ready? How far away do you think that was? How far away do you think that one was? Very good. How far away do you think that one was? Good. How far away do you think that was? Very good. How far away do you think that was? Very good. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing. I want you to close your eyes. And now I want you to point with your finger in the direction that you hear the noise. Okay? Ready? Good. Very good. 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 Very good. Good. Very good. Good. Very good. Good. Very good. Now what I'm going to be doing is I will be making the noise far away and I will come closer. I want you to let me know when you start hearing the noise, okay? Ready? You heard it the whole time. You have very good hearing. Good job. Alright, we have done smell, we've done taste, and touch, and hearing. So now we decide to do our eyes, okay? I'm just going to examine your eyes first, okay? Ready? Okay, good. That eye looks good. Good. That one looks good as well. We're farther away. Ready? looks just fine. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just practice a little bit of color evaluation and following. Make sure everything is good. Okay. Alright. We'll just start by identifying these colors. Okay. What color is that? Red. Very good. What color is that? Blue. Very good. What color is that? Green. Very good. Very good. Which side is the green on? Yes. Which side is the red on? Very good. Which side is the blue on? Yes. Which side is the purple on? Very good. Okay. And I want you to just follow this purple. Okay. Just follow it with your eyes. Very good. Follow it this way. Very good. Follow it this way. This way. Very good. Very good. Okay. And now I am going to bring the two colors onto the screen. I just want you to tell me which one you see first in your vision. Okay. Ready? Good. Purple. Good. Blue. I want you just to tell me when you see the marker. Okay, ready? Good. 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 Very good. I just need to take a few more measurements, and I'll just take notes of these measurements. And I will tell you later when you receive your report with your cranial nerve exam results on it if these measurements are normal. But for now, just for the sake of not scaring you, in case anything is abnormal, I'm just going to go ahead and take these measurements, okay? Alright, ready?
just need to measure one more time your pupil distance, okay? Let's get some good light on here. And got it. Perfect. Thank you. You did a great job. Now I will go ahead and get your results ready. And if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out on the app or via email or on our contact page. And just let me know any comments or questions or concerns that you have. Is there anything else that you wanted to address today before we go?